Yo, what is going on guys? Mr. T will here and welcome to Terminus Zombie Survivors. Uh, big shout out to Shin in Gion from In Gion Games. He has kindly reached out to me and asked if I would check this game out and uh, create a video on it. So that's what we're doing right now. It's currently in early access. I'll give you a brief description and a little rundown of what you can expect. So, Terminus Zombie Survivors is a 2D turn-based survival roguelike set during a zombie apocalypse. Each journey is unique as the world map and weapon locations and also destination change with each turn. If that wasn't enough, a seemingly limitless swarm of the undead are only ever a few steps away, being every decision is the difference between life and death. Create your own emergent story and immerse yourself in a brutal world that's out to get you. Can you brave hunger, cold and the undead in order to reach the terminus to find salvation? So, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Turn-based survival. Never tried one of these. I'm intrigued. Let's go get into it or we'll start a new game. Before we do that, guys, take a minute. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on your notification bell. Be notified every time I post a video. Right, let's go. Choose the occupation you want to play. So we have lots locked at the minute. They can start with a soldier, a firefighter, and a police officer, all with their own unique perks and stats. Very, very cool. I'm getting like a PZ vibes from this. So we'll go with a soldier right off the bat. His name can be Logan, we'll keep all that the same. You can't really see much from that, but it's cool. You can use uh, you can use points to set stats and traits. Very cool. Uh, available points three, so we'll stick one on there. One on there, another one on strength. Select traits. Alcohol preference. Oh right, so one of these we're gonna have to um, have to keep ourselves happy or sane, if you like. So we will go. We'll get alcohol. You know, like a beer. Drink responsibly. Uh, confirm. We'll go default mode. Yes. This is the normal game mode recommended for players who want to experience a classic zombie apocalypse. I'd love to. Let's go. No, it's dark. Off we go. Ooh. Almost nothing can be done at night without visibility. Be sure to get a lighter or a flashlight. Okay. Pretty in depth. Moving multiple tiles at once can save you up to 50% AP. Okay, game objective. Infected zombies are attacking people. Your house is still safe, but electricity and water has been cut off. Uh, out there are a few supplies left. In uh, your last communication, you learned that surviving people have gathered in Terminus. Arrive at Terminus safely to survive. You can get a radio and listen to the broadcast, or follow the railroad tracks to find out where the Terminus is located. Okay, so this game has four main panels. Information panel, character panel, action panel, and menu panel. You can check the information panel in the top left corner for the current time, location, information, and weather. That's up here, right. Turn the temperature overlay on, boom, turn it off again. Got you. So player information. Boom, nice, okay. Next. You can check the character's condition, details, experience, stats, and traits in the character panel in the bottom left corner. You can see more details by hovering over each item. Also, you can check the items a character has by clicking the backpack icon. So that's backpack, we can open it. You've got a knife. <laughs> um, cool. Still pretty standard stuff, I like it. Move on. So the next is a basic game guide. No, <laughs> our buttons to give commands. Ah, to carry the action panel. There we go. In the bottom right corner. When you first start the game, there are only five buttons. Move, attack, change locations, dismantle, slash craft, and sleep. More actions buttons will be added as you acquire tool items as you progress through the game. Nice. And then finally, we have menu help and map. Now in the menu panel, the top right corner, you can click the map button to see a full map. Click the help button to read the help. Let's have a look at the map. Holy moly. Okay, it's bigger than I expected. Nice. You got help. So nice, they give you little tips and tricks and basic controls, blah, blah, blah. And then you will go to the menu. Makes sense. Finally, there are two bars above your character indicating your HP and your AP. 
That's hit points and action points. End tour. Come on in, Logan. Right click on a tile to move. Alternately, you can activate move mode by pressing the move button in the action panel and click on a tile. So we've got rag and wood, I think. So this is the move tile, yeah? So we'll go there to there. Boom. Now, does he pick it up? Pick up a G, boom. Rag. Nice. Oh, you can just go and take all as well, okay. So we're just gonna move, that's one AP. And then we can pick up, right? Take all. Okay. Pick up. Nice. So let's go check out furniture. Reading speed. All right, so we've got a couple of rooms unidentified. So maybe we, we move to this and see if this can do anything. Search. Find useful items by searching furniture. Current AP 14.4, after execution 12.4. That's fine. You obtain items by searching for furniture. Find rubbing alcohol, painkiller, and all parts. Good stuff. So I think we move over here and now. Check this out. Got to loot up the whole gaff, right? So, search. Yeah, use the two AP. So we got a jacket and a lantern. So if I look in my bag now, can I equip a jacket for when it gets cold? Don't drop it. Um, grab. No? Not quite sure how to put that on yet. Let's try and work that out. Details, XP, stats, traits. We can change the name. Could be quite useful. Okay, not sure how to put that on yet. We'll work it out as we go along. So we'll move on to the next one. I wonder what happens when I run out of AP. Have I got to take a, take a nap or something? Okay, we'll search this. Yeah, search it. Alcohol and screwdriver, good stuff. And then we're going to move to this guy up here. I wonder if I can take the furniture apart. Repair electronics, okay. Uh, so then we want to... If I can sleep. Search the bed. Got ammunition and coffee. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough AP, so what do I do now then? Sleep. Excellent. Let's have a look on it. Ooh, crafting. Okay, like it. This is very good. Okay, we must go to sleep. Do we just chill? Is my AP going up? I think so. I think not very much so. No, go back to sleep, buddy. Oh. Something I'm missing here. While sleeping, you restore energy and morale instead of AP. So how do I... Hmm? You can't do that. So how do I get this? Um, it's consumed every time you do an action and recovers a certain amount with every turn. Next turn change plus 98. Okay, ah, and turn. There we go. It's a turn base, isn't it? I forgot about that. My bad. So, that's gone up. There's a door there. Ooh, I wonder if I can do something with the windows. Anyway, we'll go to the door. Is this going out? Open. Oh boy. This is kind of cool, you know. Okay, let's touch this. Medicine, ramen, bat. Excellent. Nice. I'm not really sure how I use weapons. Though. We'll find about that when 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 the, when the time comes. Let's go over here. Search, search. Sewing tool and parts. I see uh, a zombie out there. 
probably not good. So we need to end turn because we don't have any action points left. Can we attack this guy? Whoa. Yeah. Aluminium bat. And I'll go for a head attack, right? Zombie is too far to melee. Right, got you. Makes sense. Move here. Now you're gonna hit him. Yes. Correct. Can we also pick that up? Okay, you don't know how to get there. We will not worry about that too much. Boom. Open. Do we go up, down? You look at me, I've got like current location. We go up. Okay, let's move. Can I move the map up or have I got to go out of the tile for that? No, not enough AP. End turn. We'll go around to this anyway. Okay, move to there. Pick that up. I'm trying to say going up, but I don't know how to get up. Ah, unidentified place. Let's go. Has to be on that tile. Move AP. You discovered the house. Oh, nice. We're going to move and we'll go to there. Here we have another house. This is cool. This is cool. Not enough AP. We need to enter it again. Okay. It's a lot to um, get my head around. It's different to anything I've ever played before, but I do really like it. We're in. What's this? Furniture. Fresh orange, fresh bread, fresh potato. So let's check on my details. What's this? Cool. Stats, health is a bit low. Agility, dexterity, okay, that's fine. So we search that, let's go to this door. Move to this, not enough AP, here we go. Search that. Pliers and tool parts. I wonder if I can, there's only a certain amount I can carry. That would make sense. What does it say now? Repair electronics? No. Search. Pliers, bandage, and nuts. These nuts? Coffee and weak medicine. End turn, let's go. So that's every hour, I think, is an end turn. Interesting. Okay. I can hear a zombie. Get that. What do I do with this? I can eat as and when I need to. Um, how do I know my hunger? Show player information. No. I don't know. Whoa, get rid of that. You know what? I'm gonna eat that. HP's all the way up. Warmth. How do I wear it? I'm not really sure. Um okay, such furniture, yes find anything useful. Well, that sucks. Oh, hello. Pick that up. What's this? Nuts. Uh, search. Yes. And a compression bandage. Good stuff. Right, okay. Need to end turn. Ooh, you took a chunk out of me, bro. 
you're bleeding um, while bleeding you can be bitten by a zombie and become infected bleeding can be treated with a bandage or recover by sleeping okay bag bandage use you heal the bleeding let's go new attack your head whack let's go this is built different okay, you are now dead move to here pick up materials move to here open door back out we go okay so we're gonna go to the right now uh oh big dab in the head close big dab in the head too far from LA damn it so ooh I haven't got the AP this could go badly We didn't die in one go? Oh, here we go. I didn't mean your back was broken. Well, that sucks. Medicine. Use that put my HP up. Nice. Am I bleeding? I don't know if I am. Okay, let's pick that up. And then... that up too. We got food. Just gonna eat that. Okay, go. Okay, we need to rest up before we go and do that. We're going to kick the zombies butt. I think we do. Let's use a knife. Stabbed him up in his head. Good stuff. What's this? Map fragment? Nice. Now if I look at the map, what's that done for me? Ooh, we're uncovering. Let's go. Let's go there. Rest up again. Move along, just make sure. Oh, we discovered the police station. This could be pretty uh, useful. Locked. Locked door or window can be forced open if you have a crowbar or fire axe. If you don't have, you can break it open if you have another weapon or tool. Breaking door. Um. Not enough AP. God damn it. There's a zombie the other side of there too. Okay. Boom. Shank him up in his head too. Nice. Okay, let's search up this furniture. Do need a little sleep in a minute though. Guidebook and pliers. Is there a bed in here? No. Oh, okay, we'll go here. Radio. Could be good. Okay, a little rest up. Rifle? Do. Right, can we have a little sleep? We can. I'm tired and depressed, that's never good. End turn while he's asleep, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's night time, I've got to stay in here anyway. I'm just going to keep sleeping. We ain't going out at night time anyway.
And so guys, we're gonna end it up here. Uh, I'm obviously gonna play it some more, but you guys let me know in the comments your thoughts. Uh, this is gonna be day one. Let's see um, what happens in day two. That'll be coming very, very soon. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks again to the uh, the team behind the game that offered me a key to this. Really great game. It's got a lot of potential. I look forward to seeing the crazy stuff that's going to happen along the way while we try and get to the terminus. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one coming soon. Peace out. Bye-bye.